because children can't talk to us, they can't easily communicate with us, it's not very clear that they're literally taking in every single thing that they experience from the minute they're born. They do so much more learning than we're even aware of. This early phase with children can be a whirlwind for parents and they just don't have the time or they don't know how exactly can I create these interactions. Parents, on the one hand, feel like they would like more information about stuff that they should be doing and on the other hand, they feel completely bombarded with too much information that they can't kind of sift through. We were thinking, you know, how can we create something that speaks to both of those things? The series itself is called Bunny to Bunny, and book one in the series is called Sing Me Your Song. And it's really an opportunity for um, infant and caregiver to really kind of just take a breath and have that meaningful moment. I think a really important message for us in the book is one, to reassure parents that they're, they're doing the right thing and that the, the engagement and the positive engagement and um, interactions they have with their baby are, are so important and maybe even more important than they realize. We know that healthy relationships and positive interactions um, are something that really help children grow. Jill really came in with the idea of doing a book and she has a lot of expertise there and I think it was something that we all felt really excited about because, you know, as a parent you read so much to kids and also that physical connection that you have with a book um, and what that brings to the relationship between an, an adult and a child I think is something that we already kind of were excited about. We all really love books and the research is, is there as to the value of, of books of course in healthy relationships for children and their caregivers. So as we were looking at different illustrations and different styles that we wanted to reflect, Kat had a wonderful best friend that she'd grown up with and she's this gifted illustrator who's just amazing. Emily drew this picture for me when my daughter was born. So she sent it and I had it like up on my mantelpiece and I just loved it and I was suddenly like, hang on a minute, I'm doing this book called Bunny to Bunny and like one of my best friends has randomly like drawn me this picture. We were like, oh my gosh, yes, this is exactly who we're looking for. And so Emily Snape is our fabulous illustrator and she was so wonderful to work with and Emily and I worked closely every step of the way um, looking at just the types of illustrations that we wanted to have to reflect each rhyme and each poem, the elements in each real illustration as far as the positioning, everything remained in the natural animal world. So we tried to constantly check, are we making these illustrations as active and engaging as we can? So it's not something that someone just reads to a child. It would encourage the parent or the caregiver to then be really interacting in better, high, you know, high quality ways with that baby. I think one of the things that really drove us from the start is how do we create a book um, that would be really fun, engaging, and also somehow science-based. We decided at the end to have these little science tips or carrots that could really, after a parent or a caregiver read through the book, it was a great way in a very accessible way to see how the content of the books was really connected very clearly to current understandings of some of these things. And it was also um, fun and also a challenging process to write the science notes in a way that they are true to the science but still accessible. Megan and I were writing the first draft and then talking to Kat, who's the greatest writer on earth. So the three tenets of the book, Love, Listen and Learn, each of these kind of encompass the research that we know of um, that is the foundation for these really beneficial connections between a, a child and their caregiver. We had many rounds um, with that and um, I think we were reaching a good result finally. I mean, I just can't believe it when I see the book and I, and I think, you know, two years ago I met this bunch of strangers. I had no idea where this was going to go and now we've created something that is not only, I think it's beautiful to look at, I think the rhymes are great, but hopefully it really is something unique and something that parents can, can use and have a positive impact. 
That to me is success. When parents and caregivers and teachers say, oh, they're informed, they're intentional about what they're doing, and they can take this research-based content and just be able to integrate it. It's all about empower the parent and you'll inspire the child. I think that's something to remember and I think that's one of the positive things about LSX. I think that that's, that's why we're all working together.